What's going on, guys? It's your boy Taikyo Kills and. Wait. What the hell? What's going on, guys? It's your boy Taikyo Kills. Thank you for tuning into today's video, and apparently, I was possessed by like a smurf or something. So hit that like button for me, please. A lot of you are asking me, you know, are these pieces worth it? Uh, I've saw Reddit posts saying that they aren't worth it. Uh, I, you know, all the full nine. So what I want to do in this video is I'm going to compare it to, you know, other brands. Uh, now I will say, you know, well, jo or, uh, well done on T's part because a lot of this stuff was hard for me to find, like the triple pleated pants. I couldn't find exact triple pleated pants like he has them. I couldn't find an exact uh, silk uh, rounded collar uh, tee or uh, shirt like he has it so I compared them as close as possible to items that are like these pieces by other brands so now T said that his brand is LaFleur isn't a luxury brand he never said that he doesn't want it in any boxes So that makes it a little bit harder to compare it to other pieces, but you know, I kind of have to compare it to something. So, you know, we'll mix it in. We got some Amazon, some, you know, Dior, you know, we got from the high end, mid to the low end, we're gonna compare these two. So without further ado, and I just ask that you all keep an open mind too, you know, uh, because there are a lot of other things that go into costs other than materials and labor. You know, you've got where the labor's taking place, where these materials are from. You've got the whole nine. So I'm gonna try to explain that as best as possible. Without further ado, let's get into it. All right, now we're gonna kick things off with the cardigan. So this cardigan is made from 6-7% Super Kid Mohair, 28% nylon, 5% wool. The materials are gonna come from Italy. It's made in the US and it has a price tag of $4.95. Now, two important things to note is that this is made from Super Kid Mohair, which is uh, mohair from an uh, angora goat that's about six months old or less so it's not as uh, lustrous as regular mohair but it's a lot less fibrous a lot the hair is a lot less uh, pointy so you won't really get that irritation on your skin as much as with regular mohair uh, one isn't cheaper than the uh, super kid mohair is a little, generally a little bit more expensive than regular mohair but uh, one isn't generally better than the other it just depends on what you're going for uh, being that this cardigan also is produced in the US it's gonna come with a higher production cost thus a higher retail costs now I know that sucks you know for us the consumers but you know you got to appreciate that these cardigans are being produced in the US keeping those jobs here so you know that also factors into the cost of the cardigan being $4.95 uh, now that's actually me in the uh, Georgia Peach cardigan at one of my photo shoots so uh, yeah that's the price tag on $4.95 now we're gonna go on to some other brands and see if this trend is actually normal or is T kind of cracking heads a little bit so let's go on to the next piece now this next one we're gonna get into is from a brand called Sense. Uh, this cardigan here is a leopard print made from 65% mohair, 32% poly cotton, 3% wool. It is made in the US, which big ups America, hell yeah. Uh, price is $4.65, which is $30 cheaper just about than Tyler's cardigan. So, and it's going to be made from poly cotton, which is a poly, and we know how we feel about poly blend. So, this cardigan generally isn't material wise, uh, Tyler's is, uh, has better quality. Uh, for 30 bucks more so you know there's one example of showing that this is an unprecedented these prices for this type of uh, this type of clothing now this next mohair cardigan really shocked me it's by Yves Saint Laurent and it's made from 49% mohair 15% nylon 15% polyester 13% polyanide 8% uh, percent wool and it is made in Italy but it's like man talk about a um, a blend now generally there's no reason to blend a uh a fabric or any piece of material you know that much except to save costs and you know at the price tag of 13.90 you know for such a variation on materials man that's definitely not worth it you know what i'm saying uh I'm, i was very disappointed that you say laurent so just so you guys know man this isn't something that's with tyler you know this is something that's you know markup is all across the board now moving forward we won't have so many examples of all the pieces but I just want to show you guys this last one by Gucci now this is a 65% mohair 31% polyamide and 4% wool blend it is made in Italy, Italy but it's 2600 which is almost twice the amount of the Yves Saint Laurent one 
guys and, and the difference in material really isn't there you know what i'm saying and by far tyler so far has the best blend of materials and it is the cheapest out of all of them except the sense cardigans so you know if we're gonna judge this based upon luxury brands even though he said this isn't a luxury brand this is definitely not in the price range of a luxury brand so so far it's not as bad i think as, as people believe it is but that said there are some things in this drop that i you know i won't i don't agree with the price of two things actually so we'll take a look at those in a little bit but moving forward we're going to look at the silk shirts all right next we got the silk shirt by golf Lafleur. now it is made from 100 percent silk it uh is produced in italy and the material also comes from italy has a price tag of 540 dollars now this is one of the items uh that i was a little bit shocked at the price given that it was just made from silk uh and silk is expensive don't get me wrong but you know i think also that it has a lot to do with it is it's made in italy uh the material is from italy it also features a rounded collar the buttons are the floor pedal buttons and it's got this hand-drawn print on the uh back so you know all of that factors in uh to the cost of it being 540 dollars still a little bit high i'd say maybe about yeah 500 but you know 540 i was just like all right man let me let me let me support my brother you know, I'd pay that much for a Chanel shirt or something like that. So let me go ahead and cash out for my boy. Now, this next one's a little bit cheaper. It's by a brand called The Couples, and it is made from 100% silk as well. But one thing to keep in mind is it is made in China. So not necessarily always a bad thing, but more often than not, we find uh, clothes produced in China to come out on the lower end quality end of things unless they are like luxury brands in China and things like that. And that just has to do with the mass production. Uh, warehouse end of things and this is $250 so a little bit cheaper now this next one is by a brand called Canali or it's by Nordstrom and it's sold uh, the brand is sold by Nordstrom so one or the other but it is made from 100% silk it is made in Italy but the price is $569 which is more expensive than Tyler's uh, rounded collar silk shirt now aside from it you know being made in Italy I have no reason as to why they would bump it up I haven't even heard of this brand so you can't really say it's a luxury brand uh really so you know there's another example of a brand that's not really a luxury brand but you know charging over 500 bucks for something so you know it's not like freaking um you know t is the only guy doing this all right so next we're going to get into the wavy striped knit polo by lafleur it's made from 100 percent cone cotton the materials come from italy they're also made in italy and it's got a price tag of 400 dollars uh the most important thing to note is that this is made from cone cotton which is generally softer than regular cotton cone cotton is just cotton that's been treated uh like right after it's been picked and before it goes to be spun slash ring spun so generally it's saw a lot more softer and a lot uh more durable uh but 400 bucks uh you know i i still think I, maybe around maybe around 350 but 400 i was like shit man uh you know uh but it is made in italy and the materials are from italy so you know the quality is definitely there uh next we've got a ralph lawn 100 uh cotton uh polo now this is it could either be made in china or italy i had to do some research and apparently depending on what the items are ralph lauren has them produced in china or in italy so who knows i'm gonna say this since this is just a regular polo maybe it's produced in uh china but other than that nothing really stand out about it and it's 110 bucks so you can get a very similar look you know for a lot cheaper now here's that you say Laurent again one of my favorite brands this is just outrageous uh 100 cotton looks very uh, very similar to tyler's uh wavy polo not saying there's a ripoff i'm just saying it's similar i tried to find items that were similar in look and this is 690 bucks and all it is is just 100 cotton not even that uh ring spun cotton that we were that uh comb cotton we were just talking about so regular cotton 690 bucks guys um you know i'm hoping you all are starting to see a trend with this uh with these pieces you know and these costs you know it generally just doesn't matter you know people can sell their own stuff for whatever they may think that it's worth 
All right, so next I want to get into the triple pleated trousers by Golf LaFleur. Now these are made from 100% polyester. The material comes from Italy. They are produced in Italy and they have a price tag of 325. Now I'm not gonna lie, I was a little shocked on this one and this is coming from a guy who spends 200 bucks on some Italian wool dress pants from Banana Republic. You know what I'm saying? I love a good dress pants, but 325 was, you know, pretty pricey. Now it does feature that Golf LaFleur embroidery uh, flower petal logo on the back, the triple pleats in the front. Uh, what fact into the high uh, price tag I believe is because they do come tailored which could be a positive or a negative if you're too tall they're probably gonna be too short if you're too short they're most likely gonna uh, be too long or not uh, short enough so uh, there is a plus and a minus with them already coming pre tailored keep that in mind uh, so them being made in Italy produced in Italy the materials coming from Italy and them being tailored throw in that golf La floor logo because you got to pay for the brand name right that probably is what equals out to the 325 price tag i'd say maybe about 300 maybe 250 but 325 i was just like wow so yeah now making this third appearance in this video is the brand sense they've got their own triple pleated trousers made from 63 percent polyester 30 uh, percent wool four percent polyurethane which in its thermoplastic form is pretty common in sneakers three percent elastane made in the u.s and a price tag of 525 this is super expensive the polyester wool blend is great wool offering the warmth qualities polyester its uh, durability qualities but i mean this is just way too much just for some regular triple ple uh, pleated trousers guys uh but next up we've got the king of pleats it's a miyake these are made from 100 polyester i no sure i'm not sure where they're made from maybe japan but i couldn't get any uh like actual good information now these are priced at 340 which is amazing for a top of the line luxury brand to be selling their pleats for 340 guys so you know as you can see these can range anywhere from 325 up to freaking 545 dollars depending on who's selling them you know it just really really depends uh on the manufacturer and a lot of different uh, demographics as well now I think I've been pretty fair in these prices but this next piece here the furrow shanka by golf La floor is really disappointing to me it's made from 100% polyester there was a lot of confusion because people on the reddit were saying that on the website it said made in China but I think there was just people misreading the materials are from China but the shanka itself is made in the US which uh, gives it a higher production cost most likely thus a higher retail cost as well now what upset me kind of was even though this is fall rabbit fur uh, and I understand Tyler probably didn't want to touch that. You got PETA and all these other animal rights groups. Ha! He's wearing the skin of an animal! Take that! I hope that teaches you a lesson about wearing fur. Uh, now the argument can be made, well, he makes his jackets in goose down, but that's significantly more different than when you can see visible animal fur, in my opinion. So I, I'm thinking he just did not want to touch that. Uh, but really what would upset me was one, the inside had just a regular made in the US tag and not a golf the floor tag. Like I really wanted it to have that golf the floor tag. Uh, another thing is uh, a lot of people don't realize that the actual pin, this comes with the pin and the pin itself you can buy separately for $20. So if you, if you would have sold that separately, the Shanka really been would have been 205 bucks because the pin adds on an additional 20 bucks now you know a lot of people were also upset because they saw Tyler wearing his Ushankas and it looks like it was just a regular Amazon Ushanka before prior to him releasing the floor of the LaFleur Ushanka but it, you know I definitely agree that this should have been a cheaper item uh, out of the lineup maybe 150 200 is what I was assuming off top of 225 even 200 you know that is a lot for anyone I think for fall rabbit fur now one thing to also keep in mind is that it does uh, sport a leather strap a 100% leather strap so that also is gonna up the cost a lot more as well even though it's just a leather strap uh, this next item though we're gonna get into is another Ushanka now this one is from a brand called FRR. It is made from 100% brown rabbit fur. The interior uh, is made from quilted nylon. Uh, they didn't have any information on where it's made in etc. 
except for that it's imported so i'm going to assume it's canada which is where the parent company is uh the price uh before it was on sale was 99.95 so this averagely retails for about 100 bucks for real rabbit fur now one thing to also keep in mind that these are ushanka so they are slightly oversized like this next one here the one we saw on amazon this is by Bellion, and this one doesn't have its materials listed unfortunately or for the interior it said it's made from stick fabric now it is made in belarus they have multiple colors for 24.88 that includes a russian star on amazon but it is very large like the traditional shanka so you'll have to keep that in mind this won't be the same size as tyler's from the lafleur drop but i definitely think that his ushanka could have been slightly cheaper than what it retailed for now next here we got the french waltz ah uh, by golf lafleur top notes are mandarin nashi pear liche magnolia heart notes are mimosa jasmine rose muget base notes are musk sandalwood and the price is going to be 100 milliliters for 200 uh bucks if you guys haven't seen my video on this go check it out more in depth now i will say this is an uncommon price for a designer fragrance especially one that's just starting out but it is well worth it some people don't like the old lady floral smell but i loved it uh, the projection is great and it lasts you a very long time great great silage as well so i definitely think you should grab one or grab the smaller bottle if you want uh next up we've got dior sauvage eau de parfum uh the french waltz is also eau de parfum as well top notes are bergamot heart no uh, notes Sichuan pepper lavender star anise nutmeg base notes are ambrosia and vanilla 400 milliliters uh it's going to cost you 128 dollars this is a very popular fragrance though it is a designer fragrance so as you can see it could pretty much fluctuate this isn't too much uh far off from the 200 bucks from tyler's as well and like i said with that great projection it's worth it now next we've got oob tobacco by tom ford another uh designer fragrance technically top notes are whiskey middle notes are spicy notes cinnamon and coriander base notes tobacco agarwood which is your oud sandalwood incense uh incense patchouli benzoin vanilla and cedar for 100 milliliters is going to cost you $295 which is more expensive so as you guys can see this really fluctuates and depends on popularity uh, and performance guys so I think the French Waltz was definitely priced fairly well you know for retail so I hope this video shed some light on why some of these prices are the way that they are. People, for one, being upset who have bought the original Lafleur uh, Lacoste collab and seeing the price difference from that, then you've got the actual you know fans that are really pissed off because they feel like, dude, you were talking about screw the rich people and screw all this, and now you're kind of becoming one of them and all that. But I think we've all got to just take a step back and remember, no one stays the same forever. Uh, you know, I remember when Jay-Z started rapping differently, I was pissed myself. It's like, bro, come on, bring me that black album Jay back, but I didn't get it. We want his old shit, I had to buy his old albums, as he said. You know, so we gotta keep that in mind as we evolve, our mindset changes, you know, that's just life. And we, we're not always gonna agree with it, you know. Uh, what I do wanna make sure I hammer home too is, you know, you don't have to, you know, I'm sure he would appreciate it, but if you guys can't afford it, you know, don't go out of your way. You know, there you can get similar, a very similar look for much, much cheaper by thrifting and going to a tons, uh, like tons of, you know, online stores, just doing your research. So you don't need these pieces, guys, and you shouldn't let these pieces define your worth and define who you are. You know what I'm saying? So just keep that in mind. Um, but also just as you can see, you know, it doesn't really matter if it's luxury, street where or what Th these prices are everywhere they cannot be escaped that is good old-fashioned capitalism fortunately but unfortunately so make sure you guys follow me on instagram You guys will be able to see all of the floor pieces. I actually had uh, a couple of photo shoots last week. So you all will be able to see them on me. I was gonna do a video, but then I was like, bro, that's kind of like doubling up on when I grabbed it. So if you guys wanna see it, just make sure you go to my Instagram, all right? I'm out. Shabla uh, babla boo. What did you say, nigga?